Hey guys, Steve here again. Uh, today is Monday, August 26, 2013. Um, just want to share with you some of my finds, recent finds. Um, not too much uh, this time, but uh, nevertheless, um, I have a few things uh, in the way of uh, cars, some Hot Wheels, um, and that's pretty much it. No, uh, no other other ones um, as far as um, uh, different brands. So. Um, I'm going to start with some of the car stuff I found. Um, again, not necessarily um, anything big, but some stuff that I was looking for. I um, found four pieces. The um, first one is um, Eric Lanley, uh, um, World Grand Prix um, line. Comes with a little checker flag to Honda. So, okay. Uh, next one, this is a fairly new one as well, um, part of the Palace Chaos, um, Maurice Wil Wilkes. Um, I'm thinking it's based off of uh, like a Range Rover, Land Rover. So, uh, this is a new one, this is kind of a cool piece, I like the color on this. Um, so, fairly new one. Um, next one is, I, I found another one of these Francesca's. Um, so I think this is like the seventh one I found. So, you know, with with the Disney line, you'll notice that chases are, even though they're chases, they are a little bit easier to find than say any other brand of like Hot Wheels or Greenlight, um, and the fact that they label them chase. So, um, but nevertheless, it's a chase is a chase. So, um, again, this one is part of the Festival Italiano, um, number seven. Will probably will be my opener um, to go along with my set. And then finally, I found this is actually an older chase. It's Officer Murakami, Carmi, Mur Mur Murakami. Um, also a chase. So, see, again, labeled it. Um, actually, this is from 2012, so it's an older one. Um, if I, I have all these um, chases, I actually have a couple of each one of these. Um, the Raider Springs uh, Ramon. Um, this one here, and of course Becky Whelan. I have a couple of those as well. So, um, I like this one. I guess it's based off the Scion um, XB, I assume. So, I don't need peace. So that's my car stuff. Alright, uh, Hot Wheels. So, um, let's see. I'll start with some old stuff. Um, just needed this one here. Um, Flintstones uh, 1956 Ford F100 panel. Um, just needed. I have a full um, open set. So I was looking to put together a full carded set, so um, I needed this one here. Okay, uh, say 2012 as well. So I think I only need one more. I think I just need the custom 77 Dodge van with Scooby Doo, and then I'll have um, another set. So, for instance, all right. Um, kind of working backwards here of older old stuff and new stuff. I have. I'm about five, um, about five or six cars. Uh, excuse me. I'm about five or six cars, carded cars, short of a full Boulevard set. And once I get those together, I'll um, do a video on that. But um, I'm also um, looking to put an open set as well. So I just happened to pick the next one of these up, Golden Submarine. Um, I really like the Boulevards. Um, probably one of my favorite lines. Fortunately, um, as with any other line they have, um, they, they they've ended it. So. Um, and of course they ended with some of the best cars, but nevertheless I just needed this. Um, I'm probably about I don't know, 20 cars short of a full open set, so I just picked this up from my local giant. <clears throat> okay, so that's the boulevards. Alright, um, I have multiple sets of Xamex, however I found some extra ones. Um, I'm probably going to use these mostly to to, um, to sell or trade at our, um, our next car club meet. Um, so we've got a couple of Xamex, uh, number 12. The Volkswagen Scirocco GT 284. That's one of my favorites. I love this. Not just the Zamic, but the, the casting as well. Um, an older one, a number seven, actually, custom 69 Chevy pickup. I found these at Walmart. So, nice Zamic. I have all the Zamics up to date so far, and I think I just need the three, the three last ones that are going to come out soon. And then finally, the 62 Corvette Stingray. Okay. So, found those at Walmart. Always good to have extra Xamex for either to sell or to trade. Um, I don't really try to make any money off of these. I just um, try to help support my club. Alright, um, now 
onto the better ones. So I found these today. Um, these are the new, I guess the new case came out. Um, this is the um, Short Card International. I found these at a TRU in, in Montgomery County, over in uh, Montgomery, County, County, Montgomery County, Maryland. Um, again, Short Card International. So we got the, um, get some light here. We have the Hot Wheels Pursuit. Okay. So before it's recolor, this is recolor. The original one's uh, black and white. Okay, nothing really fancy as far as design. Um, the Corvette Stingray. I'm not a big fan of this one, but nevertheless, I, it'll go with my Corvette collection. Um, the, the original, the first one was, of course, the green one. Um, so this is purple Corvette Stingray. It's actually kind of nice color. So. Um, Dodge Demon, 71 Dodge Demon. This is a pretty nice color too. Um, this is nice. Um, this will be, um, this is also the Super if you, if you remember. So, it's kind of a cool color. I'd like to find another one of these to open. Actually, I probably will open this. The car's not in the best of shape. So, and then finally, um, I really like this one, the 67 Chevy C10. This thing is pretty cool with regards to way, with regards to trucks and stuff like that. It's got the hook cowl, a little bit lower stance, like the pen striping, very nice. Tubbed. So very nice. Okay, and then I said the best for last. So being in the Maryland area, um I've been dying and waiting to see um waiting for the cool classics to to come on the on the pegs here. Um you know, I've been hearing everyone posting, hey, we found cool classics here, we found cool classics here, they're out. Um, haven't seen them. And then the funny thing is, is, like within the last, this past weekend, and, and up to until today, I'm, everyone's carrying them. Um, Walmart, um, I've seen them. I've seen them at Target, or, excuse me, uh, Toys R Us, and I've seen them at, um, um, even at Giant Food, if you if you have Giant Foods around you. So, um, Although I will say that, um, and and actually, where I, I found these at the least um, at the one place I didn't think I'd find any, and that was at the um, our local Kmart. So I was very surprised to see them. And not only were they there, but they were actually the best price. Um, Toys R Us seemed to be the most expensive. They wanted like four forty nine um, each, and I think I paid three forty seven at Tar at uh, Kmart. So it's a good deal. Um, finally, I got them. Um, as you may or may not know, um, there's actually two versions of the card. There's the blue card and the red card. And what I mean by that is not the whole card isn't red, but the the car on the on the on the card itself is red. So there's two versions. Um, so there's two versions of of the same card, same car. Everything else is exactly the same. The only difference is um, some will come in with the red card, with red car, and some with blue. Um, I mean, if you're a collector and you like that type of stuff and you want, you know, a set of each, that's fine. Um, from a car perspective, there's no difference. Okay, so you know, I may, I may decide to get a red card, um, carded set, but for now, um, at that price, you know, I'm happy with what I, what I found. Um, so I'm very happy that I found these. I love these. I love the the Spectra, Spectra Foss, uh paint. Um, it's very cool. Um, right now, um, this is, I guess, Case A, um, which is a total of six cars, and out of a total of 30. And Case B, I think, will, will, should be coming out pretty soon. So, all right, so the first one here I'm going to talk about, this is the um, 63 Chrysler Turbine, uh, car number one. Um, very, very nice car. Kind of a gold metallic. Okay. Um, that's number one. Number two is the Blastus Moto Spectra Foss Red and I noticed that they have their wheel, they call, the, uh, the wheel, they're the calling these wheels retro slots so those are kind of cool, Let's see if you can see them here yeah, one second, let me see if I can zoom in on the, these wheels here there you go, see them? okay, car number three Right here, the 1963 
Plymouth Belvedere 426 wedge. Kind of a brown. Copper, actually. More copper. I like that color. That's a nice color. Okay. Good, good uh, picture of the wheels there. Okay, so this is one to three. Um, number four. The 40 Ford Coupe. Um, just keep in mind that the cool classics um, um, have plastic wheels. They are not real riders. Um, I know there's some people that love real real riders, and that's all they want. And there's others that are completely opposite. To me, for me, uh, I don't really care. Um, I like both of them. I think it does. Although I do think it does depend on, on they're good on certain cars and not good on others. Um, in my opinion, so this is a beautiful color. Okay, number five, the '65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Okay, car number five, and then finally, the Turbo Mustang. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this color. I mean, it's a nice color for being greenish yellow, I guess. Um, and again, the Spectra Frost paint is, is gorgeous, but, um, you know, I, I don't know, maybe they could have picked a little bit different color, maybe some kind of a darker green or what have you, so, but it's all, again, all based on opinion. Metal base, of course, so, um, very nice. I, I, I can't wait. I, I, I hope I can afford all 30 of them when eventually when they do come out. Um, you know, as as replacements for the Boulevard, which are, like I said earlier, are my favorites. Uh, I think they did a really nice job on these. So hopefully, you know, hopefully um, they won't. They'll be able to finish the complete set um, in the U.S. and not send like the last case or cases to um, to only other countries. So, but we'll see. All right. So that's what I have for now. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, check out the cool classics when you can. Definitely recommend them. Um, again, they're, they, run rough, they run roughly between the, the three and a half to four and a half do, um, dollars um, price range, depending on where you go. Again, Toys R Us was a little more expensive. Found these at Kmart. If you have Giants, Giant Foods, um, I think they're like somewhere like the three ninety nine uh, price range as well. Um, they don't really. I haven't seen a full set of Giant, but Nevertheless, they're there, and um, I've also seen them at um, and some of the WalMarts as well. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed them, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.